What's going on guys, it's Brew and Steel, and today I got another video for you guys. So some of you guys know, some of you may not, but I am taking this semester off from my college. So I decided to take a semester off, maybe get a job, earn some money. So basically, I kind of dropped out of school. Not really, I was just taking a break. So currently I am still kind of a, you know, student and all that. But most likely, another thing that I wanted to take a semester break is getting my GPA up of stuff like that. It's personal reasons. I don't want to go too much with it. So I, I don't want to mention it too much. So basically this video I'll be sharing my thoughts on this incident that actually happened at Plattsburgh University, which is my school, my four-year four college that I attended for a semester. So this girl that I personally no, in real life, like she literally lived on my dorm floor, and I, I apologize. I didn't, I didn't really want to make a video because I was afraid that she's gonna like you know see this video and you know bitch at me for posting it. But I'm just basically sharing my thoughts about what she did, and you know, so basically she was in some Snapchat group thing and she sent out a photo of her and her boyfriend i personally know her boyfriend as well so i hanged out a lot with the people on my floor and her i know her roommate as well but she posted a snapchat photo of her and her boyfriend i i, I can't remember when it was i think it was like some point in january and i heard on facebook there was a lot of facebook posts about it saying that oh i mean like she's she should be suspended. Oh, she should be expelled. She's racist. So basically, the word that she posted was lynching niggers. And it offended a lot of black people on campus. And, you know, watch looking at this it just makes me disgusting. Because, you know, first off, why would you post that online? Lynching niggers. I mean, like, my friend Karen made a video earlier saying that, oh, black people shouldn't be that upset. But... What I heard from her roommate, what I heard from like my roommate, uh, what I heard from the girl's roommate, and I heard from a lot of people, including my roommate, um, that the school wasn't doing really well. Um, a lot of students were frustrated with her, and um, I was told that an email was sent to every black person in this community, the school community, and it was just an apology um, letter and apparently some black people won't accept it. They just think that oh this girl needs a punishment, just expel her, oh just suspended her. But you know, I honestly hate racism. You know, I hate when, you know, people call me like the N-word version of Agent Chink, you all know. And I hate the N-word, but you know, it's understandable that, you know, black people will get offended by the M-word, but they say the M-word themselves. But, you know, honestly, my full, my entire thought on this whole situation is just, I can't imagine what would happen if I was at the school. There's going to be chaos, there's going to be a lot of hate towards the girl. I mean, racism is one thing. Racism is the number one problem that is kind of up there, along with gun control, but I think racism is a problem that the U.S. have. You know, depending on, like, you know, what kind of race you are. You know, because a lot of Americans don't really like, you know, people coming out of different out of the country, you know. Especially black people get targeted really um, easily because, you know, their skin. And then, you know, racial profiling is a huge thing. And, you know, how would you feel if, like, I went up to black people and called them, Oh, you're... You do drugs, oh, you rob a bank, you're just from Africa, you're black, of course, but that's totally racist. I mean, like, black people, Hispanics, Asians, they get target. I get make up, make, I get make fun of my race, like, online a lot and at school sometimes. But excuse me, this is, sorry. But I personally know this girl, I really think she's a great girl, but, you know, Karen said that she's drunk, but... You know, it's college. People have fun, and it is what it is. But my thoughts on the whole thing, I just think racism is just a huge deal. I fucking hate racism, but, you know, lynching niggers has gone way too far. I think it's wrong, 
but it could be a mistake because she could have been drunk. She was just too excited. But, you know, honestly, I heard that the school was, the school was in progress. So she's still at the school taking classes. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to suspend or expel her. But honestly, I have no idea. Just racism is a huge thing. And, I mean, like, my friend Karen made a video and he said that black people should, you know, don't worry about it. You need to deal with it. I mean, like, people are going to be offended. And, you know, it, it's it's what, and the, but many say that they're not going to get offended because they use the word themselves. You know, a black people, a black person go up to a black person and say, hey, what's up, nigger? I mean, like, it's, it's, it's what it is. I mean, like, you'll hear a lot of that on city streets. You know, what's up, my nigga? But, you know, that you, you hear a lot of the N-word in the city. Black people, stuff like that. But, you know, a white person saying it to a black guy, that's racist. But anyway, that's my thoughts on, you know, the whole situation. So I'm getting over here.